Hi everybody, this video continues in my series on charisma. And one of the things I want to talk about is when somebody's um, talking and you interrupt. And there's two kinds of interruptions that, as I see it. There's the kind of so-called interruption where somebody's telling a story and you make a very short comment as they're telling a story um, at a certain point but you're not intending to um, have them stop talking and then you start talking and take over and, and tell your story and they don't get to finish. It's just that you're making a very quick comment and it has to, that comment has to be made at that certain point in the story and also the, the comment is kind of spontaneous. So you might make a, like a witty kind of observation or just a few words at that point in the story and it should be pretty apparent to the person that you're not intending to completely uh, interrupt them. And there's the other kind of interruption where you just start talking at some point in the story, a, oh, that reminds me of something, and then you start talking your whole story, and the person never gets to finish. And that kind of interruption is not the good kind of interruption. And there are some people that are so overly sensitized to interruption that maybe they were interrupted a lot when they were growing up that um, the first kind, they get angry at that and say, don't interrupt me. And, you know, you have to say, I wasn't interrupting you. I was making a quick comment as you're telling your story, spontaneous. Plus, it wouldn't make sense to say the comment afterwards. So that's not really something people should get angry about, but some people do. And if you're one of those people, you need to be able to distinguish between that kind of interruption and the second kind. Now, even the second kind of interruption, which is annoying and it, it is kind of rude, you still have to keep your patience and not get angry at the person because if you get angry, it just creates a very um, tense atmosphere for everybody. And it's better, even though you're angry and annoyed, just stay calm and say, please let me finish. And hopefully, if the person does that a lot, and they interrupt you a lot, but every time they interrupt you, just say calmly, oh, please let me finish, then they'll start to learn that if you're telling a story, just to let you finish telling the story. And having said that, though, make sure you're the kind of person that lets a person get a word in edgewise. Because if you're that kind of person, you don't let a person get a word in edgewise, that is not charismatic and totally monopolizing a conversation is not good you have to let people um, also have their turn to speak and you also have to be aware are, are people being bored are they really listening are they um, nodding off or they you know am I talking at them instead of with them are they are they engaged in the conversation you know people should not be just your sounding board a conversation should be a, a give-and-take thing but having said that, I mean, sometimes during conversation, you want to tell a story or a series of stories. And, you know, and that's, you know, part of the conversation. But then also be aware, are people interested in that? Or am I just boring them? And also be aware of letting people have their turn to talk. But if you're one of these people that wants to talk, wait till the person finishes the story before you start on your own. And I'll be talking more about charisma in my future videos. Thank you.